I can't even remember why we uh, went on this journey. <laughs> For some reason, we are going <coughs> towards this clear water port. Hmm. <laughs> but anyway, <coughs> let's start with the scenario. Prince Holdrick and his company. Grim and watchful, descend into the catacombs below the temple, buried d deep in the bedrock, in the very roots of the world if itself. In the distance, Hordrick hears a booming voice. <coughs> no, that's... that sounds stupid. But... but... Uh, it is a leech. I might just want to give give it. I don't know how long it will uh, be with us uh, in this campaign, uh, so I don't want to uh, give it uh, too uh, too annoying a voice. So. Uh, hmm. I'm free at last. No mere matter I could seal me here in forever. Rise, my soldiers of darkness. The world will be ours once more. Back on the ground, our oh, this feels much better. Much better. As for the current residents, uh, let's see, let's send these monsters to a final rest and an early finish bonus. Retrieve the fire ruby with Prince Holdrick, and its location is probably uh, <coughs> randomized. And we do need to kill the leech lord. <coughs> so... That would... Put you too far away, of course. Well, perhaps not too far away. You... We need a scout. That's... <sighs> Pretty. Uh, pretty obvious. And <clears throat> but do I want to grab the grab those leeches? Isn't that big of a map? I don't know. Don't. I. I. No. I. I which code? But uh, I don't know. Of course, in that sketch about the uh, killer sheep, arg hog. <laughs> But I think I've already used the better one. Uh, so. <laughs> anyway, I should probably also be thinking about these two things. I have to think of two things at the same time. Oh, no knows. <laughs> uh, take the village or not to take it. Take it. How, how well would you move underground? Let's see. Uh, forest flat hills in the mountains. And walk or cave two. You'd only move two times, but uh, we 
he's only more than three, so it isn't. <sighs> no, I don't want to recruit. Hmm. You are so slow, you <coughs> we don't need the first batch to be that uh, quick. And actually, you should probably grab a village. I don't like the look of that pool at all. Time to go super deep. Oh, we have some uh, holy water here. <coughs> hmm. We do have this uh, white matri already. I'm not sure if we will really need much. Arcane damage. Uh, but <coughs> I guess it can't hurt. Let's get Sir Rutter here also, so they will gain some <coughs> experience. And another, another mage, so we'll hopefully get another red mage. And that should be all. That village was actually in the Since you are the fire mage, uh, we shall give this I don't, an advantage in that regard. Hmm. I would put you here. Would you <coughs> move as quickly as if I put, put 
do here. Can't it to put you in here? Sure, why not? Well, actually, you you can't move on this side if you if you are there. So it can hurt potentially. Recorded uh, democracy to who was it? <laughs> I, I can't remember uh, which <coughs> which version to say it is, but anyway, <coughs> that game I haven't recorded it in a, in a long while. I should probably get back to it at some point. And uh, die by the sword also. But I have an idea that because I got stuck in that game uh, previously, it was pretty much expected, and but it it wasn't expected that I would just <laughs> leave it. Red Mage actually would also do that. <laughs> Target sighted. It's close, but fair. It's all around us. For yourselves. Well, that wasn't from that exact. Uh, from which I quoted at the last uh, line, but anyway. <sighs> no, I did a lot of damage actually to Prince Aldrich. Interesting. Ah, here we have an interesting situation. Uh, <coughs> A bottleneck, they are trying to bottleneck me. So I don't want to attack them actually. Or perhaps with Burin the Lost, and um, I could leave a, a white mage to <laughs> heal. Well, uh, they do. I mean, Burin the Lost does have uh, this battle axe. And ham and the hammer. Hmm, I didn't think of that. Well, against ghosts, uh, Burin the Lost will be a good, a good candidate to attack me. might be able 
to break through big rust beer and velocity does so much damage. But we will give him give it a heal. <coughs> give him a heal anyway. So it's a good thing I brought this shock troopers because they are great against uh, skeletons and <sighs> you have ability or something <sighs> let's give uh, one, one of my white actually actually not this one since you are cl close <sighs> Be all right. Thirty four percent chance, and it did happen. When this, when this happened, it's the end. They destroyed him. Revenge. Actually, that that was a bad idea. I all. My white, white mage and my red mage almost both died. <laughs> that would have been bad. I didn't think that one through. <clears throat> so can you kill it? Actually, you could potentially. Well, since you are one of my so-called heroes you shall try to do that and we shall not we shall risk this white mage actually I think uh, since uh, they will get healed I will uh, actually let's see uh, it doesn't te tell me how many hit points it would have uh, if it succeeded. So I have a couple of chances here with my shock troop and my white mage here. <coughs> I don't want to get uh, my red mage killed. That's that's for sure. That's for sure. <coughs> so, and we need Prince Hordrick uh, next to next reaction. Actually, this might do. Aha, Mage of Light. 45 hit points. After years of experience, the most devout of white match I develop vast spiritual powers. By strict devotion to a path of the light, they can recall upon its aid to, to, chase, to, to, to chase away the shadows of the night. Following a strict code of piety and honor, these men and women work tirelessly to bring life and order to their troubled world in which they live. Uh, <coughs> arcane attack, carry a capable of healing and uh, illum illumination increases the lighting level in adjacent areas. <coughs> this unit illuminates the surrounding, surrounding area, making lawful units fight better and chaotic units fight worse. Any units adjacent to this unit will fight as if it were dusk when it, it is night, and as if it were day when it is dusk. Uh, I don't think I read very right, red mages. Uh, 
<coughs> description. Upon the successful colonization of the uh, apprenticeship, a mage, is, a mage is stripped of the brown robes of an apprentice and given the ruddy cloak of a master. The significance of this cha change is often uh, lost in the lost on the peasantry who mistaken the title of ma ma master magi as a red magi. Likewise, the symbolism of the changing colors is often mistaken to signify the mage's ability to seemingly conjure fire from nothing but thin air. A trick which, although undeniably useful, is viewed by the magi uh, themselves as a crass uh, application of their hard-won knowledge. Though physically frail and untrained warriors, the red magi have a number of tricks up their sleeves, including the gods of fire, which can, may have cemented the colloquial name. And did I read the knight's description? Horsemen or women of skill and discipline are promoted to knights. Veterans of combat they have seen the often fatal results of a fallen charge and have learned discretion in its use. Knights therefore carry swords in their armament and practice tactics which, although requiring of much more patience, patience uh, are less risky than a charge. Their lances are still at the ready, however, and growing experience with fierce weapons makes them deadlier at the field. <sighs> Did I read the uh, charge's uh, description? When used offensively, this attack deals double damage to the target. It also causes this unit to take double damage from the target's counterattack. And are there any are the enemies, of course? <coughs> death blade. In uh, life, the, the abomination is known as death blades. Uh, masters of combat, uh, soldiers who were uh, both live and deadly. The new masters uh, are rec recognizing this outfit them to match the skills they once had. For frail, we, these monsters are much faster than the rest of their kind, both on foot and with their blades. Uh, and the bone shooter of a uh, dark sorcerer's creation is. Some take more strongly to be false life given to them. Given them. The pot potency of their own life is given equipment, equipment to match. Archers in particular or are often outfitted with a truly wild arsenal. Their quivers are filled with shafts made not of wood but of the bones of their victims. It follows that they adapt uh, sim simply bone shooters by their unfortunate enemies. Unfortunate accident. <coughs> what the... Hmm. That was pretty unlucky. None of us hit. And now I don't have anything that can heal it. That can finish your job. <coughs> Let's see if there's anything uh, down on this path. Uh, the bone shooter, I could go and try to kill it from that side also. If I chose to do so, of course. Ah, uh, I want to get past you. <laughs> My plan was to uh, get the shock trooper uh, to protect this uh, white mage and a uh, mage of light. There. But it doesn't seem to be uh, in the cards anymore. Ah, they attacked Sir Rotary. Uh, that, was, uh, <coughs> that was fortunate since it has uh, so much. <sighs> So many hit points it survived the attack. Hmm. <sighs> but 
I should probably have a board of feet uh, <sighs> more thoroughly before I put him in the water. Uh, <clears throat> but what is done is done. Well, pretty obviously, we need. <clears throat> Hold it on that location and well, <laughs> the shock trooper can't move even now. Perhaps on this style, that would be a, a good choice. A good choice to put him. Let's see, <laughs> the undead can't. Uh, Move that quickly, I, but I do want to uh, heal this white mage, so I want to move. I won't move the uh, white mage any further than that. <coughs> uh, do I want to scout? Yes, we shall scout. Ah, so we have this uh, leech lord here. <coughs> it can uh, attack my dwarvish lord now. Actually, we can get a healer for him. So it uh, won't be so bad if it, if it gets attacked. And I think he, he has uh, good resist <coughs> resistances. Let's see. 10% resistance against that. Yes, ten percent resistance against everything they have. They didn't attack. Well, uh, <coughs> nobody's forcing them to. to move uh, on this style, let's see. Uh, the Mage of Light can't get healed if, if they go on that uh, tile, so unless I have someone who can move even farther than that, uh, no. Actually, the uh, red mage can move uh, uh, <coughs> faster than uh, Sir Rattri, so they shall uh, <coughs> be the ones on the front line. And it uh, doesn't seem anyone is coming uh, <coughs> to kill it right now, at least. You would have a good chance at killing this bone shoot. So, but then I wouldn't get healed if something bad happened. Let's see if there are any. Oh, ah, we have this. Have a <coughs> treasure chest. Treasure chest there. No, don't move. I didn't tell you to move just yet. Well, uh, I probably brought uh, <laughs> too many troops here, but oh well. Do I want to uh, put my white mage? It only seven. Uh, times three <coughs> actually uh, if it used to be uh, and it probably would then I would survive only two attacks and <coughs> it is a magical attack so I don't r want to risk uh, losing my white mage like that not like this <coughs> I still haven't attacked with the Lich Lord Lenya or whatever. I 
Actually, now that I know pretty much everything that is out there, just crush. However, we do need someone to protect our ma match size, so you shall be on that Thailand. Could you kill it? You could kill it with the hatchet, uh, so you do have a good chance at killing it with the re retali retaliatory strikes, so <coughs> we. I don't think we shall be killing this bone shoot right now. If uh, this little lord uh, <coughs> does uh, decide to attack my white mage, uh, it would uh, have to go to this cave tile here, and it wouldn't be that beneficial. Actually, could I actually block its movement? No, I can't, at least not like that. Like this, I could. Now it can't get to my white mage. Do I want to uh, try to kill it with my right now at least hmm <sighs> well uh, I have to kill it s at some point at least and uh, we don't want to get hit by too many of these uh, chill tem tempests so sure Something like this had to happen. Oh well, I did say I wouldn't, wouldn't reload if something like that happened, so my minister Etran here is still <coughs> living, so... No take backs is... <laughs> <laughs> that's like <clears throat> that's what the Grim if I would say in this situation. Can I actually kill a better uh, death blade? It's uh, bothering me a lot. Is kill it. Good. <laughs> and since I lost a uh, white mage, we shall. <sighs> sure, we will uh, replenish our lo losses. Well, something. <sighs> I don't know. Try to kill the uh, bone shoot. Good, you did. So, if everything goes according to my plan. Mm, you can't move any further. Mm. Well, let's just hope this uh, does it. Good. Uh, oh, I forgot what uh, voice I gave. But, uh, all, all, all my days are ended. The world won't miss him one bit. And I have this fear also. So. Like we have. Uh, hmm, how 
much gold would I uh, get from at the early finish bonus? <laughs> Seems I would have uh, because there aren't any enemies left. <laughs> it's possible uh, to cheat a little bit yeah. and uh, just wait. Uh, You shall actually see what's in there. This world can't <coughs> get to that uh, right, right now. Just yet. Let's see if these statues do anything. No, they don't. At least that statue doesn't. Get healed. Yes, you get healed. <coughs> that, that sounds like a good idea. We don't know, know for certain if we if will we will get an ambush. Some uh, uh, unexplored tiles left. I should probably explore them also. Uh, nothing here, it seems. Nothing there. Well, <laughs> do I even need to move any? As you open the chest, you see it, the ruby of fire. It is the size of an apple and burns with an in internal fire, which is refracted through its faces. You can feel the power flowing from it. It's funny that the Lich Lord didn't have this on his person. Since I don't, I don't actually know what it, this thing does, I'll just put it in the bottom of my back for right now. I'm glad that's over. We have a ruby of fire, and that Lich Lord is now a pile of dust. Let's get out of these catacombs. Uh, actually, I think there is going to be a 13th per turn, so no, it wouldn't have been beneficial to wait. Uh, so, I think there's going to be an important decision regarding that uh, ruby of fire or whatever that was. Uh, I think we shall uh, have to decide who get who gets it. Uh, who gets to wield it. And I feel like I wasted a lot of money by bringing all of these forces here. It, do it doesn't seem l like it was uh, necessary. Uh, from looking back. <laughs> 